You know, the first week was is, was up and down, kind of like I thought. Uh, we only put pads on one time, so the first two days were a lot of run through. Uh, it's great to see young guys out here running around. Uh, some of the hurt, injured guys are getting back, which is fun. And I had a good first week. Friday was the best day. Friday and today. Today was a great day because it's real football. It's physical. Uh, I was happy with the way our D-line played. We're in the backfield a lot today. Um, but, yeah, it's fun to watch the young receivers continue to get better and, and, uh, and to see it go back and forth, you know, when the offense makes a big play and the defense gets a big play. And, and when you have it right, that's the way it should be. And uh, we're getting closer. Yeah, they're playing with a ton of energy. You know, we got a lot of experience back over there with D over there and Anton over there, and obviously everyone, pretty much everyone back. And and uh, obviously a new scheme, changing things up, which I think they're they're enjoying. And uh, but watching D play corner has been fun. He's still flipped over the offense a couple times, which has been uh, cool to see him do both. Um, you know, Bird's playing a different position. You know, Tanner Mathias is playing a different position. So. So spring's a great time to practice and really see what our guys can do. And if, if they, you want to know when we hit the fall what their strengths and weaknesses are and how much we can get out of them. And, and D's a guy that I think can do a lot of things. And, uh, and he's been showing us that in the first four days. Jariga, I mean, our left side is pretty much the same. You know, Jariga moving to center, he's been starting for three years. He's, he's done a great job. He played center against Wagner, Delaware State, I forget what game it was that he played and did a great job. So we knew he could do it. So our, our left side's pretty good. Our right side's newer. You know, Kansas has been always been our backup and played a lot of right tackle. And, and Asbury's really getting his first chance at right guard. Uh, Brooks is hurt from last year. And, and Dylan Dethridge is hurt from last year. They're going to really add a lot of depth to the line. You know, well, right now we don't have a lot of depth at O-line. Our, our ones are doing a really good job. Our twos, it's a, it's a first time for four of the five of them on our twos. So, uh, but it's great. There's no better learning time than the spring. And, you know, for young quarterbacks, for young O linemen, for young DBs, young receivers, and and uh, you know, you just keep pushing them to see how, see how fast you can get their learning curve to, to go. And uh, and I've been happy with the start. Yeah, John uh, John Wasink is he's not going to practice this spring. He's gonna he's gonna be in a couple drills here and there. He's been throwing, warming up with us. Um, he he threw a couple. He'll throw one on ones and seven on seven. But we're not going to put him in. And he, with his foot, his foot's getting better. He's got cleats on now. He's moving around fairly well. Uh, it looks great throwing the ball, but there's no reason to put him behind an offensive line and a defensive line until that thing's totally healed. So really, right now, he's just doing individual stuff that he's not in harm's way at all. Uh, he's like another coach out here for me with these freshmen, uh, some of the younger younger quarterbacks, even Caleb. Caleb's getting better, uh, but he needs all these reps. You know, So we're excited to see John back out here. But he's not getting reps. He won't get. He'll he'll be probably cleared to be full go in May sometime. Uh, but by then we'll be done with spring ball. The new coaches have done a great job. It's been fun to watch the even in in our four practices to watch the growth of the different positions. You know, and and you know the the best feedback I can get about a new coach is from our players. And and I've had shoot countless number of players that have come in and talked about you know how much how close they feel with these guys and how they're building a relationship and. And for me, I can I can watch them and see how they're coached, you know. And when they're when the players are looking the coach in the eye, watching our corners play has been fun. James has done a great job, and Trevor's done a great job with our linebackers, which has been fun. Obviously, our running backs and Mike Bath, you know, they're a great group, you know, and they've continued to be great, you know. And then, you know, Keith Keith and our receivers, he's got a young group out there. We moved D to defense, and uh, and and they're all listening. They're getting better every time they're out there, which is which is a sign of a coach doing a great job. Feels good. Um... Yeah, even last week I started throwing a little bit to stationary stuff, you know, not nothing crazy, um, but it feels good. It's definitely good to kind of hopefully get my arm back in shape a little bit before um, hopefully maybe after spring break get a little bit more in depth on some stuff. But yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, I think the one of the last things to come is to be able to really push off it. It's my right foot, so it's kind of my, my back foot. Um, when I'm throwing, I kind of have to push off on that foot. So that's kind of the last step for me is really being able to drive off it and using more of my lower body because throwing is, it's a lot of upper body, but it's also just as much lower body. Yeah, I think, you know, mentally there's always room to grow, you know, just the same as like physically, there's definitely room for me to improve, you know, in terms of accuracy and ball placement and things like that. But, you know, mentally I can do, I can grow mentally right now, even though I'm not necessarily physically growing as much. So, you know, getting in the film room and watching last year's games and seeing, okay, I can improve my reads on this play and this play, different things like that. So that's where I'm trying to improve right now. I would say mentally, for sure. Um, you know, Coach Lester taking over the offense definitely helped. You know, me and him have a good relationship, so he helped me in that aspect. Um, I would just say I had 
I was more um, in charge of the offense and I knew you know what everybody was doing and I knew how to direct them better um, so I think that's how I grew the most as well as like leading you know that my mental growth allowed me to lead players more in, in, in those areas the receivers have been doing a good job um, you know Corey came in um, this spring for the first time so he, he's been doing a good job um, and Jaden we're kind of moving him around to some different positions so he's learning new stuff but he learns it quickly you know he's a smart kid and he wants to learn um, Deshaun Bustle um, he was hurt last year but he's he's played a good role in the, uh, the spring so far he's learning pretty quickly so we have a lot of guys that have stepped up and learned well this spring yeah so I graduated with an accounting degree in December um, so I started a master's in the sciences of accounting um, this January. So I'm looking for sure be uh, hopefully done with that master's by the end of next spring, hopefully for sure. Um, so I'll get between this semester and the fall semester, I'll be at least two thirds or three quarters of the way through a master's degree. So yeah, that's going well.